Good morning, dear friends and brothers and sisters. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I greet all of you. This is a new day, and we thank God for the faithfulness and mercies of our God who has brought us to this new day. And as we begin this day, first let us give a few minutes of attention to listen to the voice of God. And this morning, it is uh, my privilege to share with you from the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 15. In this chapter, uh, from verse 21, we read about a Canaanite woman who came with a desperate need of hers. She was so desperate, somehow she came to know about Jesus and uh, maybe from people who have already experienced his um, ministry of teaching and preaching and above all, the miracles, healing the sick, casting out demons. And uh, maybe she heard it from people and uh, she has this great desire therefore to come to Jesus with a very desperate need, the need of uh, his, her daughter. She had a daughter who was demon possessed and so she thought of coming to Jesus and uh, in verse um, in verse uh, uh, 21 it says leaving that place Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon a Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. And verse 23 says, Jesus did not answer a word. Jesus did not answer a word. Jesus was silent to her request. Now, the silence of Jesus is more painful at times. Have you ever felt the pain of his silence? Have you ever tried to find out why Jesus is silent at times? Why he is not answering your prayer? And I see at least three reasons. And if you search the Bible, you may find more. I encourage you to keep on searching the scriptures, finding the answers. And the first reason, I think, is that we may be more earnest in seeking his blessings. Like a Hannah of Old Testament in 1 Samuel chapter 1. Anna used to pray. She was barren. She didn't have any children. She longed for a son, but she would not conceive. In her desperation, she started crying out to God. And uh, she was so desperate that whenever they visited the temple in Jerusalem, uh, along with her husband, she, uh, she, would, she would cry and uh, she will not make noise, but silently. And so the high priest, the priest saw her lips moving, but no sound. And, um, and he misunderstood, mistook her uh, uh, for drunkenness. And um, so he, uh, accordingly, he spoke to her. But then he realized, he understood as she explained to him her condition she was so desperate she was crying out to God in that silent prayer and she prayed year after year after year but after many years this happened in the temple when the priest take, uh, took note of her she said Lord I am desperate I need a child I need a son and she took a vow. She dedicated that son for his service for, 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 for all his life. And so 
we, we, then we you know the story. She went back with the blessings of the priest. The priest said, go, your request God will grant. And she took that word and believed. And so she went back. And that year she conceived. And she brought forth her first child. And she named him Samuel. You know, when so many years since her marriage, she was praying for a son. Many years passed, but no son. But she would not give up. She grew so desperate, she cried out to God. Now, sometimes God will be silent to know how earnest we are, how serious we are about our need, and how serious we believe, seriously we believe in, in God, in Jesus. And uh, so first time you pray, nothing may happen because many people can be careless. We can be casual, uh, uh, casual seekers of God. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, everyone who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him earnestly. Now that is the word, wholeheartedly. And the earnestness means you will not give up until God grant you your need. That may be the reason why he is silent. The first reason. And uh, there is a second reason. To reveal his glory in a greater measure. If, you, if, if he grants your request the moment you ask, number one, you may not value that answer very much. You know, you take it casually. Uh, thank you, God. And then. But when you are desperate, and in your, out of your desperation, you cry so earnestly, that's what God wants. God wants earnestness. God wants wholeheartedness in your faith and in your desire to be blessed. And only then, you will value that blessing and give all glory and honor and praise to God. And so that could be. And example, we have Martha and Mary. You know, he wants to reveal uh, he, uh, the, 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 the second reason why God may be silent is that he wants to reveal his glory in a greater uh, dimension than you have ever known. What was that glory? When Lazarus was sick, immediately they sent word to Jesus. Come, Jesus, heal him. But Jesus didn't come. He came after four days of his death. He was already in the grave for four days. Then arrived Jesus. Why did he do that? See, if he had come the moment he received the message, and uh, he'll come and heal him, it was only an, an ordinary thing because he was already known for his healing ministry. But now the time has come for Jesus to reveal something more, something greater, something more vital than mere healing. That was he wanted to reveal to the world that he is not only a healer, but he is the resurrection and life. And as you know, that's what happened when he came. And the, the, the two sisters who went and gave the same complaint. If you had been here, my brother, our brother would have been alive today. But you didn't come. Why are you late? And Jesus said, even now your brother will rise again. They couldn't understand, of course. But then, then if you believe, you will see the glory of God. And uh, you know the story. He went to the grave commanded Lazarus to come forth. And then Jesus, Lazarus came out alive. See, that is what happened when Jesus delayed his coming. So he waits. When all the possibilities, all avenues of Lazarus coming back to life is finished, and it was that time God came 
and he reveal his glory in a greater dimension something more glorious a healing would have been an ordinary thing but a resurrection for the first time they have seen someone raising the dead my friends if god is silent for now wait don't give up he may be preparing something more glorious and something greater than an ordinary thing when he comes you will experience and thirdly he is waiting till your complete obedience complete obedience your obedience to jesus christ has to be complete and marvelous like abraham you know abraham was asked you take your son and your only son and offer him as a burnt offering to me and uh, so you know the story abram took his son went to that mount which god showed him that is the place you must do it and all the time abram must have been crying out oh god do you really want me to do that how can i kill my one and only son whom i loved for whom i waited 24 25 years and you have promised said through him i would bless all the nations god was silent he only said take your son and that journey took him 3 days all 3 days god was silent while abram was crying out to him but god was silent and when did god speak again he made a uh, he built an altar and he set the firewood and then he tied isaac as a sacrifice laid him on the altar picked up the knife and he was about to plunge that knife into the heart of isaac his son and it was then god spoke again why abraham's obedience was complete that is what god saw then god held his hand stop don't kill your son and that is important my friends for you to realize there are things in our lives according to god's word that you need to obey let your obedience be perfect and complete and then you will experience god's miraculous and so that's the way you receive from god god bless you all meditate on this it tonight as you come back at the end of the day before you sleep think about what i shared with you today god's blessing be upon you this is a great day and enjoy this day and enjoy this presence of the lord and enjoy living for god amen holy spirit bless your people we all need your help and let the joy of the lord be our strength in jesus name